Josh, Michael Oren is upset with Israel that that's all they did. Are you hearing that generally in the Jewish American community that they ought to have done more, they ought to have gone to war with Hezbollah and pushed them back from the northern border? Uh, there's a lot of debate and disagreement within the uh, Jewish community, within the pro-Israel Jewish community. I, I wouldn't say that is the, the dominant sentiment. I think there, if you look in Israel itself, you there, there's um, growing momentum for trying to get some kind of deal with, and get the hostage. Really, the emphasis has been in, among the Israeli public uh, to get the hostages released. It's been such a painful, uh, you know, year uh you know we're, we're approaching the october 7th anniversary um but look uh the, you know there, there's some some voices that um certainly led by the biden administration that were trying to use diplomacy to kind of make sure things didn't 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 escalate and there are other voices uh more hawkish voices that think that israel should have taken out hezbollah and been more aggressive at at, at, at uh, going after them so um i i don't think there's any consensus there's there's a divide in israel there's a divide within the american jewish community here all right. My second question goes to tonight's interview of Kamala Harrison and Tim Walls by Dana Bash. I've worked with Dana on debates before. She's a consummate professional. I have great confidence in her tonight. I would like to have her ask about what her acceptance speech was when she said terrible thing happened on 10-7, quote, at the same time, close quote. It seemed like moral equivalence to me. Did it strike you that way, Josh Kroshauer? Well, th that's been the the, the playbook of the Biden administration that, that it, it is always like, on the other hand, consider the humanitarian needs of the Palestinians in Gaza, even though um, you hardly heard the word Hamas mentioned before uh, Harris spoke at the convention on, on Thursday. I mean, that, that, that was the takeaway from the convention writ large and, and where the Democratic Party is right now vis-a-vis -vis the Middle East, Hugh. The word Israel was only mentioned by uh, the Goldberg Poland family, who, whose son Hirsch is being held hostage by Hamas. Not a single speaker until Kamala Harris even mentioned Israel, uh, no less Hamas. That's extraordinary. And, and that's yeah, I mean, that it is extraordinary. And, and I've been to conventions going back to 2000, 2004, Hugh, and there's always been a much more outspoken and public uh, display of support for Israel. The fact that the bar has gone so low as to the fact that I thought Harris gave an adequate speech, um, but but you're, you're right. She kind of did, on one hand, Israel has a right to defend itself. On the other hand, uh, look look at the starving children in Gaza and let, let, let's get a ceasefire. So, um, you, you know, John, I got to pause for a moment because I, I, I didn't know that. You know, I mean, I remember um, the, the former DNC chair, the congresswoman, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, always being pro-Israel, uh, almost almost to a person pro-Israel and lots of pro-Israel. That's why 70 percent of the Jewish American vote traditionally goes Democratic. They mentioned it once. Before Harris's speech, not a single political speaker mentioned the word Israel. Uh, at the, at the convention to my wow and, and maybe maybe Warnock when Warnock said in comparing Israel to God but there was actually no public display of support for Israel and I don't think there were even a mention beyond the the hostage family at all um, at the Democratic convention uh, and I was covering I would all, ask her about that tonight I think Dana Bash ought to ask her what do you think about Israel and don't tell me they have the right to defend themselves tell me what they should do about Iran because I think. If Iran hits them again, they ought to blow up Karg Island and, and bounce the rubble. What do you think, Josh? Well, <laughs> look, I, 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 I think there's a lot of, in a Trump administration, I think you'd have support for uh, a more muscular policy dealing with Iran and its proxies. And, and that, that, that's sort of the issue at play. And I'd love to hear, I agree with you, Hugh, I'd love to hear some more detail on, on what Harris would support if, if uh, Iran continues to threaten Israel as it has over the last, you know, over, over the last year uh, and more. Um, you know, the, the other thing about the speaking about the Democratic Party and Harris, uh, you know, the the party, I, I, I was struck by the fact that when I talked to Governor Josh Shapiro, almost, you know, was a finalist to be running mate for Kamala Harris. Uh, I asked him when I was in Chicago what he thought about Biden's comment that that uh, the protesters, the anti-Israel protesters had a point and he sort of dodged the question and and, and didn't want to go there. And I mean, that is where the part the party the, it's less about who the nominee is and it's more about sort of the the party bringing in these anti-Israel activists, these anti-Israel voices, and, and, and trying not to, not to say anything at all about one of the most important national security issues of our time. Josh, quick exit. Uh, Josh Shapiro is the best talent they've got on their bench. I'm still stunned she didn't pick him. Why do you think she didn't pick him? We got one minute. Yeah, well, look, I think Tim Walls has, um, you know, he certainly 
um, brought something to the table in terms of style, the coach. I mean, I think she likes this whole Kamala and the coach branding. I don't think there's a ton of substance. I don't think if you look at the, the governor's record, and we've talked about that on this show, Hugh, it's a very progressive record. So it gives Trump and, 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 and Vance a whole lot of opportunities to go after them. But I think there was a comfort level with Walls that maybe she didn't have with Shapiro. Look, Hugh, Pennsylvania is the most important state on the map. If, if the Democrats uh, win, I mean, Democrat, if Democrats lose Pennsylvania, uh, it's done. Ball game it's over. Probably over. So um, yeah. that 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 it was curious to me. We, I, I, I think Shapiro would have helped help them on the margins. I, just, a, a, I still can't believe it. 